This is Dr. Randy Wolcott, and this is a diabetic foot ulcer, and it's one of the more common wounds we deal with in wound care. And the question always comes up, how much do you take off? Uh, that's what we're going to try to answer in this video. So the first thing uh, in a diabetic foot ulcer is is to get rid of the, the callus formation that develops around the wound. Now, this callus formation may be from walking, but it can also be from inflammation from the wound itself. The, the cells are in the peri-wound area don't know what causes the inflammation. It just knows that there's uh, inflammation. It responds with uh, putting out more keratin. Once we get the callus uh, done, then what we're going to do is take the bowel film off the surface of the wound. There is a surface-associated bacteria on all chronic wounds, uh, and uh, we've proved that in multiple different ways. So that was the area that we just took off, and now we're down into host tissue. Now, there's still fragments of uh, biofilm left on the surface of the wound, and we're going to try to suppress the reaccumulation uh, with uh, the gels and other topical treatments that we use. Now, we always save the, the skin for last because once we cut the undermined skin, there's going to be quite a bit of bleeding, and you don't want to be working through that when you're trying to take off the biofilm. No. 